What's up everybody, I'm Duckany Deep, and because of the amazing reception of my first Magic Gathering video, I've decided to do another one. And this is a bit of a different one, we're unboxing Eternal Masters. Yes. This is Andy, he's got a YouTube channel, he's also the owner of the local card store, and the guy who is guilty for getting me into Magic the Gathering. That's him. That's his fault. All it took was Pack Wars. <laughs> Actually, did not take it wasn't even swinging. difficult. I was I'm like, Duncan, do you want to play Magic? You went, no. And I went, you could open this pack and you were hooked. <laughs> All right. Come on, crack. It is. Anyway, we're doing the exact same thing over on his channel with the second box. We do have a second box right over there. Um, Eternal Masters is a very valuable set. The boxes are like 280 quid each. Yeah, they're expensive. So, uh, it's quite an extreme opening. The other one on his channel is going to be the same way. The way this works is... We're going to open half the packs in this box. Twelve. Then we're going to summon my girlfriend, Beryl, and Andy's girlfriend, Sam. And together, they are going to open the other twelve packs. We value rares at one, mythics at three, and planeswalkers at five. And then we're going to... You guys will know what score each of us has got, because the scores will be popping up post-editing here. But we won't know. And then we're going to bet forfeits <laughs> on whether we think we've got more points than the other group. So we'll be like, oh, we've got like 25 points. We're going to win. Loser gets egged. You know, and then it's like, oh, then they'll be like, no, no, egging isn't enough because they've actually got 35 points. They're like, no, ice bucket out of the gambling. window dropping. So it's going to be gambling based on what we think, whether we think we've won. So here we go. So, Let's shiny do this. new box. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There's the cellophane. All right. Just we, there. because it's our channels that this is going on, it's my channel and Andy's channel, we're actually getting to pick the 12 packs. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Ooh, shiny. That's a, that's a pretty looking box. I like they the are, slanty nice. boxes. Yes. Slanty so, box. Standard magic box oh. for anybody who doesn't know is 80 quid. Yeah. For probably. about that's 70 to 80 quid. Yeah. Shop. Um, he does sell them cheaper than most people, actually. It's 80 to 90. 80 quid for 36 packs. These are 280 pound for 24 packs. Expensive cards in them, though. All right, or, do you want to go first? Hope. Oh, okay, right. Straight off. There Next we go. Pack. Here we go. All right, let's All right. get a mythic first one. Let's get a mythic first one. Let's get there some value here. So, Skulking Ghost. Mog Fanatic. There we go. Second Thoughts. Here we go. Some Blood. Ooh. By the way, if your rare or mythic is shiny or planeswalker, it gives plus one. Plus one point. Yeah. Okay, we're getting into uncommons now. Uncommons Ooh, are where people are going to get one. excited. This is a really exciting Ooh. set. I can't wait to draft it. Straight away. Oh, dude. mythic straight away. Straight away. Oh. Immediately. Oh, I'm she's nice. Enchantress. Shroud, whenever you cast an enchantment spell, draw a card. That's that's nice for my deck <sighs> if that was still one. legal. Commander. And we've got shiny common. Shiny common shiny there. Shiny common and means nothing. Little one one soldier. Hey. Oh, the tokens Ooh. are nice from this set. I know, they're nice. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, <laughs> don't like the look of this goblin. She's a bit ugly. Uh, actually, no, the goblin, he looks he looks Goblin. Fun. Let's go with the goblin. Pack number two. Let's go. Oh. All right, here we go. We've got... So that's three points straight away. Yeah, Prowling Pangolin. Ooh. Dragon Eggs. Um, ooh, Dragon Eggs cool. I did look this up this set before. The Avon Gaseous Form. That's a really cool card. Commune with the Gods. Jungle Hollow. Lots of Jewel Lands. Common Jewel Lands. Tidal Wave. Tragic Slip. Bloodfell Caves. You can look all of these up online, guys. We're not going to read through every card. This is more about the challenge than anything else. Burning Vengeance. We're into the Oncommons. Thunderclap Wyvern. Lice, Solana. Ooh, it's a rare, unfortunately. We've got Silvox, Rogue Elemental. He's got Trample, and green is Regenerate. Regenerate. What is Regenerate? Um, so, Regenerate's kind of complicated. It, it's kind of like the next time a creature would die, instead you tap it and remove it from combat. So it's kind of like it has to die Twice. to not die. Yeah, pretty much. Fair in enough. A way. So. Um, and then a shiny common, sadly. So that's just one point there. Oh, I like that token. We do have a nice um, worm creature token. That is a nice token. The tokens in this deck are looking nice. They are, they are. So that's what? Four points, two packs. Yeah, four points, not, two packs. Not a bad I'll average. Take, I'll take a two pack. I'll take a two point average. If right, we get 24 we points. Cool. I like a Lick Vanguard. Two, one for one. Both not side, great, but I just love the artwork. Side. Side. Yeah. There we go. Let's right, Whisper. Moggy. Warm Giant tortoise. Yay. <laughs> I know where else. Nice. nice. Some of these commons are really good. Yeah, there are some really nice Because they've rebalanced the rarities, haven't the they? Yeah, yeah, they've made some. Oh, it's fairs. Uncommons here. 
required speculation and yet another mythic. Are you Natural kidding Natural order. Um, as an additional cost to cast natural... We're making a green deck out of these. Yeah. <laughs> as an additional cost to cast natural order, sacrifice a green creature. Search your library for a green creature card and put it onto the battlefield, <gasps> then shuffle your library. It's okay. What? Four it mana turns combat. one green... Shiny into... Borderland Marauder and a dragon. If, if it, there's guaranteed foil in the deck, can that foil be any rarity? Yeah. You could get... Oh, so that's where, Jace, a, lot, foil, that's where yeah. a lot of these points are going to come from. It's like foil rares at the back there. Yeah. All right, this one I took from the bottom of the box because I'm feeling a bit... I need a little bit more luck. Andy's... If it was me versus Andy, he'd be winning my ass. I know. What are we on now? Seven? Yeah. Seven points, three packs. Nice. We shouldn't talk so loud. They're probably listening. No. Blast to the door. Abarax. Why do I keep moving it the wrong way? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, guys. Rogan Drake. Elvish Vanguard. So, yeah. I'm reading this upside down, by the way, guys, so it's a bit <laughs> difficult. Normalize, Windscard, Crag, Lanoir Elves again. That's uh, we're building what's a green the, deck. Yeah, for sure. what's the Lanoir Elves? Talsadam. He's just Elvish Mystic, basically. Mishra's Factory. That's a nice land. End of the Cleansing Fire. Ooh. Wow, that's quite good. Legendary cool. Enchantment in its uncommon. Unfortunately, I pulled a rare. Icarid. At the beginning of the end step, sacrifice Icarid. What? We any of creep. If Icarid is in your graveyard, may I exile a black creature card other than Icarid from your graveyard if you do return him to the battlefield. Oh. So he's not on the battlefield ever during Switch. your opponent's turn. Uh, okay. Ooh. Okay. And um, unfortunately, it's a common shiny again. That's nice though. That's a nice shiny. And a token goblin, which is really cool goblin actually token. So what pack is this? Is this pack five now? Yeah, this is pack five. Right, okay. Here we go. Humble. Duress. Loads of duresses in this. Uh, okay. They're reprinting duress in this? Yeah, duress. Yeah, duress is printed a lot. You see a lot of duress. But just you get all kinds draft. of cool artwork. Yeah. So. yeah. I'm a little annoyed they're giving us shitty cards and fate ones. I've got a million and one of. Yeah. Uh, ooh. He is in my commander deck. And he is a beast. Whenever he enters the battlefield, um, destroy non artifact, non black creature. I don't play up. commander. So you should. But yeah, we just send him to the graveyard, out the graveyard, to the graveyard, out the graveyard, <laughs> dead, dead, dead. Fair enough. Extract from darkness. Getting our uh, dual Ooh, colors. Ooh, okay. Nice. Ooh. Rare and a torrent of souls. Uncommon. And then, oh, a nice what was little, our rare? Nice blue wall. It was that black one there um, with a morbid trigger. Malicious affliction. Malicious affliction. Okay. Morbid, whenever you cast it, if a creature died this turn, you may copy it and choose a new target for the copy. Destroy target on black creature. That's not bad, actually. So, Pretty cool. two mana. It's got to be two black. Token so creature wall? wall. <laughs> There's a wall token? But then you get to do two. Yeah, wall token. Love that wall token. All right, all right. I need to pick a good one now. Six. I've let us down because you've pulled two mythics. Yeah. I wonder how many are in the... In a box. It's usually six yeah. in a 36 box, isn't it? So you would assume there's maybe four in this one? So on I'm, average. I'm feeling pretty good then. Yeah. In that if case. we if we manage to get another one, I'm gonna feel pretty secure. But in our victory. Yeah, yeah, we got a Sting Scarger, an Elite Vanguard, a Warden of the Evas Isle, Liss, Alana Huntmaster. Okay. Hive Lights Ending, Bloodfell Caves, Shoreline Ravager. Coalition Honor Guard, that's stupid good. Yeah, I like Forces it. Forces people to target your flag bearers. It's nice. I, I want to build a deck around that in draft bears. if I can. <laughs> Love it. Um, commons. We're into the uncommons now. We've got an, a shrine, a whole other secret world. So that's cool. With that land that gives you health for shrines. Nice. This. Oh, this is actually... Oh, nice. This has been rebalanced from um, an uncommon. This is what everybody wants in foil because this has never been printed as a foil. Oh, nice. And it's a really, really colorful Yeah, there card. are some, some cards now. So it's a rare, but sadly we've also got a foil common. Which what is, is that? Sad. And a carnivore token. <laughs> okay. Which is uh, interesting. A 3 1 carnivore token. We're halfway through now. Okay. This is seven. Seven. Uh, we, if we can get one more mythic, come right, on. Cool. Squadron Hawk. Plague Witch. Sound Departure. Oops. Analysis. Fuck you, Rugged Highlands. <laughs> They're really rubbish, aren't they? Because they just enter tapped. Yeah, you get a life. They're uh, good in draft. It's though. just that I've got a million. There's your flag bearers again. I've got hey. a million of them. Hey, well, I'm Field building my souls. We're building either green, green, white oh. flag bearers. Nice. Oh, nice. He's cool. That's that's a. That's not really a blue ability at all. That's a red ability. 
tap him to deal damage. And uh, oh, at the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player sacrifices an artifact, creature, or land. That's pretty cool, Switch. but sadly it's just and, a rare. Oh, so this card, this is a sought after card, and we yeah. just got it in foil. It's not a rare, but Chain Lightning. Chain Lightning that is, is gross. Cool. It deals three damage to target creature or player for one mana. Um, then that player or creature's controller may pay two. If the player does heal, she may copy the spell. So that's why it only costs one mana, because they can. But if then, they have to pay double red for that. Yeah, and if they're not the red. Yeah, like usually you, you've got this by turn one. So they you can't do anything three. then. Yeah, and then if not, they'd have had to play two reds by turn two. <laughs> yeah. That's not happening. And then a soldier. Oh, soldier tokens are pretty cool. Yeah. All right, pack number eight. We pack really need eight. that extra mythic. You pulled, yeah, you're just pulling all the weight for this. So. They were just, they were right at the top. It was just the first one, mythic. Yeah. Second one, mythic. Where's my luck? It'll be Beryl. Beryl yeah, gets my Beryl's luck. Beryl's got it. She's got the, she's got the best luck ever. That's why uh, I'm a little nervous about this plan because I know what Beryl's pulls are like and they're crazy. <laughs> Raise the alarm. Talking of which, there are actually two unboxings going up on her channel um, with similar rules. Stupid fine touch. Isn't that Jace's like, Gender swapped version. Could be. How about Tortoise. a giant tortoise? Giant tortoise. I that's, like him. that's my man. He's cool. We've got fog. Phantom monster. Loads of people want to build draft decks around this. I'm not sure why. Yeah, because he's a 3 3 flyer. So that's kind of hard to deal Swift with. Swift Water Griffs. And then we've got our, our uncommons, which is a barbarian dude, a noble, Mesa Entrantless. And sadly, I failed us again. Deathrite Shaman is our rare. And then a really, really cool, but sadly foil common. Dead Bridge Shaman. Dead Bridge same, Shaman. So we've got the two Shamans. And then a token creature sh spirit, which oh, really wow. fits with the He's pack. He's cool. Yeah. And the tokens in this are so much cooler this, than regular they're, tokens. They're very, very varied. Like, it's not like you're getting the same three kinds of tokens. Yeah. So, you know, clue, vampire. Okay, so how many are we on now? Soldier. Uh, well, this would be my fifth go, which means you've took four goes. So this is pack nine. So, not bad. Undying Rage. We really need this extra mythic. Squadron Hawk again. Squadron Hawk is cool because, especially in draft, because you can carry more than four of them. Una's Grace. I like that card. Uh, I used to play an Una, Una Commander deck back in the day. Sam's plays with it now. Yeah, she does. A different, That's a the different Una one. Commander yeah. deck, but yeah, she, she loves Una. Uh, another Necroton. Battle Squadron. Guy's Blessing. And, ooh, Visara the Dreadful. Nice. And then foil uncommon and a carnival. We're not picking up any of these foil rares though. No, I know if they we get us, them, yeah, it's gonna be on the foil it's rares. It's gonna be the foil rare side. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna get us on the mythic side. I think we're quite solid on the mythic side. Two mythics is pretty good, but the the foil mythics and the foil rares that could be a problem. So I've just realised these open backwards. Yeah, they um, do. It's weird. They're, they're like the ones. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this, and I don't know what it's like in America, but here in Britain. Back pack packs, booster packs in them, are always back to front for some reason. Yeah. And they always feel squarer. Yeah, yeah, they feel fuller. Yeah, it's very strange. I guess because they pack the packs a lot tighter. And it's not like that in the States yeah. because I bought some packs in the States while I was in packs, so. Because I, I think that the packs that are back to front are the packs from the States. I don't know why. No, know they, why. they weren't back to front in the States. Um, but yeah, it all depends where you get them. It so always seems to happen in fat packs, in some booster boxes. Factor Fiction. Oh, Factor Fiction's really good. I love Factor Fiction. Real top five cards, an opponent separates them. Yeah. And then, yeah. There's um, there's a Innistrad one that's similar yeah. to that. Where you separate them and your opponent chooses. Sadly, our card is a rare again, Mystical Shooter. Shooter. Though. Shooters are always good. Um, yep. And finally, we've got a common shiny which is the play which and a token which is the soldier again oh i'm definitely gonna make my human soldiers into these this is my uh it's my last pack isn't it i have to yeah i believe so mm. you we'll know make... what i'll go i'll go with you make you sure my, we're leaving 12. one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's their 12. oh is that gonna be your one the one that's the, the loner left in the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the boxes, though. The boxes, boxes, yeah, they are nice. Yeah. They they really put out on the boxes. Rallying the peasants, another dead bridge shaman. Wildfire emissary. Ding. This wouldn't have been a bad box to draw from. No, no. This Come on, this has got to be the mythic. Fifth of Slutin, Emperor Crocodile. All right, flame jab. That's nice. Uh, War Palestine. 
No, no mythic, unfortunately. Oh, Ooh. we did, however, get a foil rare. So yes, that counts as a rare. Two. So basically, so that's, that's like a mythic. That's a three point pack. Yeah, that's a three point basically. pack. Yeah, you've got all the three point packs then, yeah. huh? So, so diminishing returns the last one. and the Jareth Leon and Titan. Oh, that's a cool card. It is. When it blocks, it gets plus seven seven just because. Just because. Just just because it wants to. No cost to that. No downside. All right. That's crazy. Plus seven seven with no downside. Last pack. I'm just leaving there to block anything. That, that dude can block Ulamog on his own. There's um, there's a card I've got in my commander deck called Phyrexian Obliterator, and whenever a source would deal damage to him. That source's controller sacrifices that many permanents. So you, you do five damage to him, you've got to sack five things. So you just get him out, just leave him there. Like, <laughs> no, attack. no one is attacking you whilst that is happening. Right. Welkin Guide, Debrid Shaman, Borderland Marauder. If they did a destroy effect, would that just destroy him without them having to sacrifice anything? What do you mean? So if oh, they just if had they a card that said destroy, yeah, yeah. It, wouldn't, it wouldn't do damage. Right, the peasants. But uh, if they did something that says do 10 yeah. damage. So, so he's a 5-5, he's a five, five, I oh, think, off the top of my head. So yeah, if, if they were just like 5 damage to him with a burn spell or something, then Scritch. you'd have to sack yeah. 5 stuff. If you block something, you've got a sack. So yeah. Keeping him alive is hard, though. No. He's, yes! He's, yes! Yes, let's go. We got a mythic. We Radiance. have balance, which is a crazy a cool card. It's a crazy cool card. And then we've got our mob, Mog Fanatic common foil there and a zombie token. That is not so, a bad finish. If we've just opened 12 packs, that's 3, 6, 9, 12 because we had yeah. that many points. That many points. Yeah. But then we opened we 12 had packs. Eight just singular packs. So, so 12. 20 points. Yeah, so we got 12 points just from if it was all rares. But then we add three mythics, which adds two for each of them. So that's plus six, which yep. is 18. And then one foil rare, which is plus two, 20 points. 20 points. I don't think the girls can beat us. I think we're going to be going quite oh, unless quite Unless they pull okay. some foil mythics or a planeswalker is worth five points. Yeah. And we haven't seen a planeswalker, but you might There's not. only one planeswalker in the set. Um, yeah, so, and he's going to be, I think, quite difficult to pull. Yeah. Yeah, he's broken. Broken. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. All I right, and uh, we're going to switch it over to girls. So, uh, yeah, I... Vote for us and hope we win. <laughs> I'll do the the honors of our first pack. Okay. So yeah, the boys just finished opening all of theirs. <laughs> they did. So let's see how this goes. Oh, they're interrupting us. I uh, I think it's because they want to know what we get. Archie. <laughs> I don't know what ninety percent of these cards do. So if I see one that I recognize, I'll say something. But I mostly. I mostly care about the, uh, oh, I recognize that one, actually. I mostly <laughs> care about that rare or potential mythic. I want them rares, boy. And I only know, you, have, you haven't looked up any of the cards, have you? No, no, I only know Oh, we do have a, two a foil, <laughs> foil uncommon. Cool. And then our rare, which is Winter Orb. As long as Winter Orb is untapped, players can't untap more than one land during their untap steps. That's pretty fucking brutal. That is pretty good. That's brutal. And I'll set our rare aside. Cool. Set pack number two. Let me do the honors. Gosh. Ooh. Right. We get to draft this, which will be exciting. It will. Drafting all weekend, I believe. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're only going to one, because that is not cheap. <laughs> it's not cheap, but I imagine everybody that goes will have a lot of fun. Yeah. And there'll be a lot of trades knocking about afterwards. Oh, yeah. No, it's going to be... Ooh, multiland! Ooh, that one that was that, that counter is... Um, counter spell is a really good one. Yeah. Two drop. Ooh, can't complain. Land. And it just... counter. It's a counter Ooh. any spell, so for two. Ooh, cool. So we got a shiny... Good common. ape. Common. And a... Toxic Deluge, Deluge, as a rare. Oops. As an additional cost to cast Toxic Deluge, pay X life. All creatures get minus X X until end of turn. Ooh, that could be a pretty good, um, pretty good field wipe there. Yeah, definitely. Okay, it's like you know, basically language. Just pay for life, but you're like, hey, hey, <laughs> bye. Ta -da. Oh, I like the packs. Just oh yeah, they've got the cute little goblins on them. And minus goblin. <laughs> Or this guy here. Okay, what else do we got here? And the boys were being all sneaky about what they got. <laughs> Wouldn't tell Let us. Them explain, which will be nice. Which makes sense, because I guess it's a competition. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't mean I don't want to know. No, they're a... 
Well, they're doing the usual thing where they say a no. shiny common. And we got a cool spirit token. This is the Siege Gang Commander. When Siege Gang Commanders into the battlefield, we'll put three one one red goblin creature tokens on the battlefield. One in a red sacrifice goblin Siege Gang Commander deals two damage to target creature or player. Cool. That one's that one's okay. <laughs> it's not bad. It'll have a lot of synergy with the other goblins that are knocking about yeah. there. That's that's its replay value. Yeah, the aggro goblin decks are paying the booty. They are. Right. So that pack okay. my pack number two. Pack four overall. Pack four overall. Uh, Get through these commons. I mostly know about a couple of rares that I care about. Otherwise, I've pretty much avoided spoilers at this point. I don't even. Oh no, there's one like mythic. There was one I recognized there actually. More. You got a bunch of mixed lands. This guy I have. I have. I um, Ooh. pacifism. Well, I'm excited about this because I just looked ahead. <laughs> oh no. We'll move the pile. <laughs> right. Pile is fine. So. I have a foil, Una's Grace. Ooh. You and like that one too, don't you? I do, I do. I think she'd go really well in my commander deck. And we've got a rare control magic. Enchant creature, you control enchanted creature, Ooh. which is not bad for four. Not bad at all. We just I'm a got bit worried about the points now though. <laughs> told you. Yeah, well, we need a mythic, we need a shiny of some sort. Yeah, we, we need something good. I think maybe we shouldn't have let them pick the packs first. They did something to them. Yeah. Bet it. And this time foils don't matter, but it's because everything has a foil. Like every pack has a foil and at least a rare or a mythic. When we did it with the shadows unboxing, um, yeah. because of that flip card, it was a lot more whoopsie, up in the air about what was what you were possibly going to get. Mm. There was a lot more competition. Oh, so Ooh. this is an East. E Isochron Scepter imprint. When Isochron Scepter enters the battlefield, you may exile an instant card with a converted cost two or less from your graveyard. Uh, two and tap, you may copy the exiled card. If you do, you may cast a copy without paying its mana cost. Ooh, awesome. That could be very interesting. It could. And we've got a shiny Blossoming Sands and a Goblin. Oh. Got some good just rares as in they're just good cards, but. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if they're worth anything, but. I feel like I'd like to play them. I know I know control magic is worth is was a, a hype card. And then the winter orb oh, is pretty broken. Hey, dress! Why is that in <laughs> yeah. that's a legal card right now. Yeah, but so is Shaman of the Pact, and I believe they've reprinted that. Fair enough. So I guess they just consider it a, I mean it is a pretty damn good card for a one drop for potentially destroying, you know, like against blue, it's a scary card. Yeah, you can't complain about it. Right. So the rare of the pack is Green Sun Zenith. Search your library for a green creature card with converted mana cost X or less, put it into the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Cool. Um, that could be good for... And then our foil is a Ballynock Cohort. Ballynock Cohort. Cool. Fortunately, um, definitely not winning on points at the moment, I don't no, think. No, <laughs> I feel like we're gonna lose this one. That's cool art. Plague Witch. At this point, I feel like there's been a lot of variety in these packs, too. I don't even know, at, looking at this, what I would make. No. We've got a no. lot of mixed lands. Something that's a combination of the mixed lands, I would assume. Oh, Brainstorm. I am a fan of blue. So, Arcanus the Omnipotent. Tap for draw three cards. Two and two blue. Return uh, Arcanus the, to the its owner hand. That's interesting. It is. It is. Can't complain about it. Nope, and then, ooh, Deep Analysis, which is, um, has Nicole, um, I'm blanking on his Nicol name. Bolas? Nicol Bolas? Nicol yeah. It looks like Ujin to me, though. Is it? I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, I don't know. I'm we'll, pretty we'll, sure find Nic we'll find out. We'll find out in the comments everybody the, uh, tells us off. <laughs> he has the little, the little horns with the, um... But he's a dragon. Nicol Bolas is a dragon. Isn't he a demon? I mean, U Ujin, might be is, a Ujin is a dragon, definitely. Yeah, Nicol Bolas is uh, one of the oldest planewalkers. I mean, because he was um, one of the like original dragons or like dragon, I don't know. He's like a dragon goddess dragon of sort. <laughs> he might also be a dragon demon. There's nothing saying he's not. He could this, be. This is true. This is true. <laughs> not that I, I don't know that he is not for sure. 
Again, we'll probably find out when people are like, they don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? They don't know all these specific lore things. Why do they get to open packs when they don't even know things? <laughs> I can get away with not knowing much, although I know Ooh. quite a bit because I'm a weirdo and I look I up a bunch of stuff. everything. Everything <laughs> is exciting to me. That's so our shiny. Our foil is the Civic Wayfinder, and our rare is Vindicate. Destroy target permanent for three. Ooh, that's even better than Anguish Shun making. Definitely. That also, I believe that is also Soren on the card. Maybe? Um, yeah, Soren yes, Markov. It's a quote so. from Soren, so. <laughs> I'm going to assume it's Soren. Yeah, because Anguish Shun making is nice, but you gotta pay that life, which is, you know. Yeah, it's a pain in the butt. It definitely can be. <laughs> Especially when you're playing kind of your a slow control deck, it's like you don't always necessarily like. Just, I just have a bunch of life. I can just <laughs> sacrifice. Yeah. I don't have any creatures, so you know nothing to defend with. But just who cares? As long as it's above one, or one or above, that's you yeah. know. But <laughs> yeah, I have a uh, oh another dress. Mm -hmm. Um, stupefying touch. That's a fun one. I have a feeling that um we are not going to win this. <laughs> What made you say that? I just feel I'm like... I'm nervous now in case they did get a Jace and they were just... Yeah, they're all making jokes. Their bluff was not actually a bluff and I just thought it was a bluff. Goblin, Charbelcher. Duncan, it's... I, I, I didn't quite see Duncan's entire face, but he didn't seem too... Like, he he seemed... <laughs> I couldn't tell. I don't think right. he seemed smug enough. I think, I think that's True, what it he was. Didn't... And he didn't seem smug. Yeah, they'd probably be some... <laughs> I know Duncan would be pretty stoked. It'd be hard to hide it. Yeah. Uh, so Goblin, Charbelcher... It's an artifact. Three and tap. Reveal cards on the top of your library until you reveal a land card. It deals damage equal to the number of modeling cards revealed this way to target creature or player. If the reveal land card was a mountain goblin, uh, Char Belcher deals double the damage instead. Put that reveal card on the bottom of your library in any order. Uh, that could be pretty evil in like a, just a <laughs> stupid commander deck. And um, then we got a shiny counter spell. Ooh. At this point, I'd probably, just based on what we've drawn, probably do blue-black. We've got to seem to have some really good blue and some really good black cards. Yeah, I think so. Cards. I think so. Although, I am inclined to put some green in most of my decks these days. <laughs> green is good. It is. Green is it good. Is. So far, a bunch of decks, Duncan. Like, I think basically all of Duncan's decks he's built so far have green in them. He's taken a liking. <laughs> Though green is my least favorite, I would say. Really? Yeah. My first ever deck was green-red. My first one was another counter spell. Yeah, at this point I'd definitely be blue yeah, black. It'd have to be. I uh, my first deck was red white, which is a fun deck. So we've got a foil benevolent bodyguard, and we have a gamble. Search your library for a card. Put that card into your hand. Discard a card at random. Then shuffle your library. Discard a card at random. It's a one drop though, and you could have got the best card in the world. Sure. Or you could just put it. Well, in you the search for any card. <laughs> yeah. She's like, oh hey, here's my big beastie. Yeah. Now it's dead. <laughs> Goodbye, big beastie. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, and here is a non-foil version of Benevolent Bodyguard. Okay. Oh, this is our last pack for this one. Come on. Anything, even just a well, mythic. Got one left. Oh, you got but, one. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. my last one. Just one mythic. Mother Pacifism. Mythic and I'll be happy. Mother of Runes. Mm -hmm. um, tar tap target creature control gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. Oh, that's mm -hmm. only a one drop too. That's pretty cool. Nice. And put that over there. And then we've got War Priest of Thune as our our shiny or our foil. I'm used to calling them shinies because they're like Pokemon. Shiny <laughs> yeah. Pokemon. I do it all the time. <sighs> it's so hot in here. Where's my days? It is really warm yeah. today. Like, it's I'm glad it really hot earlier. this entire week. It's kind of crazy. I thought the UK was supposed to be cold all the time and rainy and like overcast. Forget the UK. We're in Wales. That's true. <laughs> what is Wales happening? Man. The microclimates. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Okay. Legendary creatures do not get us any extra points. So we'll show yeah. you the foil first. Yay! And then our legendary creature is Brago, King Eternal, flying. When he enters, oh no, when he deals combat damage to a player, exile any number of target non-land permanents you control. Then return those cards to the battlefield under their owner's control. Which is pretty good for if you've got anything that's being restricted with like stab wounds or if you've got any sort of permanent enchantment on them that's going to mess you up. Yeah, that's true. You can get rid of enchantments pretty well. So we yeah. literally just got, got like 12 points. <laughs> I'm going to bet that they did better than nothing extra. Uh, I mean, maybe not. Maybe they got well, nothing either. I, I I would guess that there was at least one mythic in the box. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm gonna assume there was one mythic in the box as yeah. well. So I'm going to assume we lost this one. We will find yes. out. Brace ourselves for that one. <laughs> and whatever weird challenge we might have to do, so. Oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> time for time for box two. Yeah. All right, guys, it's barter time. We have a list of forfeits. Um, there's going to be loads of them. They're going to go in a hat. The bar the forfeit video is going to go up on Andy's channel. It's going to be both forfeits in one video because he did. we did the same thing for his channel. Um, we're going to barter on his video and then all the forfeits go in one video on his channel. You Basically, we're bartering for a number of forfeits. So it's going to be betting on how well we think our cards are going to perform, our points are going to perform, and then the losers have to do <laughs> however many we agree on. It's things like walking on Lego, dancing like a chicken in public, eating a chili, having a bucket of ice poured on you, taping yourself to your teammate forehead to forehead for 20 seconds mm -hmm. um, on video, having eggs thrown at you, doing squats and push-ups, licking soap, and reading a sexual Pokemon fanfic. Anyway, so round one, how many points you got? Um... We know our points, you know your points. So it starts at one, and it's ours, so uh, I'd say... Three. Yeah, yeah, three. I think three is a good bet. Three. One. One? You're not going any higher than one? No, no. I guess we'll meet in the middle at two, then. You do we're only go. we're not going any higher than one. You won't go to two. No. On the first. Well, That's no, not our negotiations. because we know our with. points. <laughs> it was really that bad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lord. All right, well, it looks like they're doing one. They folded their wimps. Um, head over uh, to Andy's like we channel. Could be doing one. It depends who actually wins. No, you folded. We said oh, three. If you want to yeah. go to points, you have to agree to three. You folded. You That's gave up. Oh, we'll meet you. At, we'll meet you at two, and no. you have a chance. Yeah. No. Because you no. don't know what we got. That might have just been a shit box. You only get twenty-four packs, remember? So that's not a lot of mythics. No. That's not. A lot we're of only anything. doing one, which means if we like, so yeah, no, we're just doing one. Yeah, I'm happy. All right. Well, they're wimps. Okay, guys. So the second um, box. I think, let's um, just let's just reveal to each other. Yeah, that's good. But let's just reveal to each other what your points were. What were your points from the first box? Twelve. Really? You got yeah. the absolute bare minute. That makes sense then. We got twenty. We yeah, got I thought so. 20 points in the first. We did well. We got two mythics, straight like pretty much straight away. Like the first pack, green mythic. No, three the mythics. Second pack, green mythic. Wasn't it? Oh no, two mythics two and then a foil and then, rare. Yeah, we had a rare and a foil rare. So that's like a three point. Pack did you again. get a Jace? No. In either of your boxes? No. no. <laughs> so, alright guys, forfeits over on Andy's channel. They're only doing one for not, our not video. Really we'll see how many they do for his. <laughs> bye bye. All right then guys, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, you can click up here to see more videos of this type on my channel. If you want to check out something else a little bit different, then you can click down here. And if you want to see everything that I upload, you can click the subscribe button right here.